Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of God's Minute. I am Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I am the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Thank you for joining me today as we begin a holy week during a pandemic. This is going to be a special series of God's Minute this week because I want to share with you something that I am dealing with right now, and that is the gospel blues. And what I mean by that is there are times in our lives that we just don't want to read our Bible. We find it hard to pray. We find it hard to think about God, and we find it hard to act all believy. I know that's not a real word, but that's probably a good description of what happens when we are in the gospel blues. And I feel like this is an opportunity to highlight the gospel blues because, to be honest with you, I'm in my gospel blues right now. So I'm going to share with you this week how I get through these gospel blues. And what I do is I do one thing that's very hard to do when I'm in the gospel blues, and that is opening up my Bible. And I don't know why, but it seems like during the gospel blues, my Bible feels like it weighs a ton and it's very hard to open. But today I'm going to introduce to you one of the passages in scripture that helps me get through these gospel blues. And this is what I'll be focusing on during this week of readings and our time together in God's minute. So today our reading comes from Psalms. Psalm 37. So I'm going to open this up, get that strength, and get ready to find my psalm. And this is Psalm 37, verses 1 through 11. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not be envious of wrongdoers, for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will act. He will make your vindication shine like the light, and the justice of your cause like the noonday. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way over those who carry out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil. For the wicked shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. Yet a little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look diligently for their place, they will not be there. But the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant prosperity. I want to say it was back in 1998 when I was living in the Raleigh area at the time, and I was attending one of my favorite churches, Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. And on a Sunday morning that I did not have to work, I went in for worship. And in the bulletin was a special insert that had this psalm and the verses that I just read to you. And for the first time in my life, at that moment, I felt like the writer was writing to me. It felt like a Hallmark card that the writer had written to me to let me know that God was with me. And so I will always remember that moment, and I will always be grateful that we have a 37th Psalm, verses 1 through 11, that I can go back to because there are some very powerful images and powerful words within this uh, lesson. Do not fret. Fretting is to worry. Do not worry. And we face a lot of worry in this time of the pandemic. And when we have the gospel blues, we worry about so many things. We worry about our livelihood. We worry about our family. We worry about our happiness. We worry about tomorrow. And all of that worry can really build up and take us away from focusing on the moment. And it can take us away from walking with God and to not walk at all, or maybe walk in a different direction. So that's what worry does. And here the writer is saying, do not worry, because God 
is with us. God will provide. And God continues to answer that promise. And then in verse 7, be still before the Lord. And in this time where it feels like I'm always moving around, if I'm not here working on a devotional, I'm taking care of my children, which is a blessing. I love being with my kids. But for those of you who have children, you know that it's a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week job. And so you're always moving. As soon as you sit down on the couch, mommy, daddy, I need a drink. You have to get back up. Or mommy, daddy, I need to find my shoes things like that. So it's nice to know that in the scriptures, we have this advice from God to be still, just to hold on and wait a moment and let God breathe the spirit in you and strengthen you. And that is why this Psalm helps me when I have the gospel blues, because it reminds me not to worry. It reminds me to be still and it encourages me to have faith and to know that God is with me and that God is not mad when I go through the gospel blues. God is not mad at you when you have your moments of doubt, when you stop walking with God or you walk away from God. God doesn't get mad. He may get disappointed, but God understands. And God's love is greater than God's anger. It always has been and always will. And in these times when we have the gospel blues, God is so gracious that God will have the blues with us. And God will say, I know what you're going through. And believe me, folks, he does. And that's very encouraging on this holiest of weeks. Thank you a lot for joining me this morning. I wish all of you a good Holy Week, and I will see you tomorrow for another God's Minute. Take care and God bless.